Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico, also known as the Walled City. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love San Juan. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Population around 330,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled San Juan. San Juan is a two hour and 50 minute flight from Miami. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love San Juan. People love San Juan because of old San Juan. Showcasing almost 500 years of history, the streets of old San Juan are windows to the past with historic forts and Spanish colonial architecture setting the scene, this World Cultural Heritage Site is the second oldest city in the Americas and the oldest city under the U.S. flag. The seven square block area contains more than 400 beautifully restored 16th and 17th century colonial buildings, many of which contain shops, restaurants, museums, hotels, and other public buildings. The most dramatic feature and the real showpiece of old San Juan is the fort of San Felipe del Moro, known more commonly as El Moro. Set out on a piece of land overlooking the sea in the San Juan National Historic Site, experience the city's real charm by simply wandering the streets, admiring the old architecture, and enjoying a meal on an outdoor patio. People love San Juan because of the fort San Felipe del Moro. Protecting the entrance to San Juan Bay, the fort, commonly referred to as El Moro, is dramatically perched above the sea on a point of land jutting out into the ocean. A designated National Historic Site and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, El Moro was built in 1539. Construction continued for another 250 years to make it one of the largest Spanish forts in the Caribbean. A majority of the additional construction took place between 1760 and 1780 when many of the walls you see today were added. The fort today is a maze of ramps, outposts, barracks, dungeons and tunnels dotted with small circular sentry boxes called garitas. These garitas are unique to Puerto Rican forts and have become a national symbol. The area approaching the fort is an open lawn looking out with incredible views on every side, either back towards San Juan, including a view of the San Juan Cemetery, or out to sea. People love San Juan because of Fort San Cristobal. While El Moro gets all the fame, Fort San Cristobal is equally fascinating and well worth a visit. San Cristobal is bigger than El Moro and is the largest fort the Spanish ever built in the New World. Spread out over 27 acres, it features five independent units connected by moat and tunnel, each designed to be self-sufficient should the others fall. The fort was built between 1634 and 1790 to guard the eastern gate to what is now Old San Juan. It was designed to protect against a land attack, making it quite different from El Moro, which was designed to guard against attacks from sea. People love San Juan because of the San Juan Cemetery. Set along the coast adjacent to El Moro and high above the ocean is the beautiful San Juan Cemetery, elaborate tombstones, statues, and a circular red dome neoclassical chapel dedicated to Mary Magdalene are some of what makes this cemetery outstanding. From its hillside setting above the sea are lovely views out over the ocean and towards El Moro. The graves are all above ground similar to those found in New Orleans. The chapel in the cemetery dates to the 19th century and many of Puerto Rico's earliest colonists are buried there. People love San Juan because of the San Juan Cathedral. The San Juan Cathedral, built in 1540, is known for being one of the oldest cathedrals in the Americas and one of the oldest buildings in San Juan. The interior with its black and white checkered tile floor and yellow decor is surprisingly ornate and cheery. The body of the great Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon has laid here in a marble tomb since 1913. Also entombed here since 1862 is San Pio, a Roman Catholic martyr. The cathedral still holds regular services and tours are available. People of San Juan because of Museo de las Americas. The museum in Old San Juan explores the history of Puerto Rico with a focus on the art, the ethnic groups, and the colonization of the country. 
permanent exhibits offer a solid overview of the country's history, but temporary exhibits round out the experience with interesting themes that include anything from contemporary art to traditional practices. This museum is a good place to start before embarking on a tour of the country's cultural and historic sites. People of San Juan because of Condado and Ocean Park Beach. The Condado District lies on a piece of land between the Atlantic Ocean and Laguna Condado. The district was originally developed as San Juan's first tour zone in the 1950s, creating a mini Miami Beach on the doorstep of the city. The main axis of the town is Avenida Ashford, along which stand a number of luxury hotels and resorts. Condado offers a broad selection of accommodations and facilities in all price ranges. In the eastern area of the district is Ocean Park, a one mile wide beach encompassing residential homes and beach retreats. The white sand beach is clean and very popular with locals. There are no facilities or change rooms here. Condado is also home to the huge convention center with shopping, theaters, restaurants, and space for festivals and exhibitions. People of San Juan because of La Fortaleza. La Fortaleza was completed in 1540 as a defense against the Carib Indians and other foreign invaders. It was occupied twice by invaders, first by the Earl of Cumberland in 1598 and then by the Dutch General Baudouin Hendrik in 1625 when fire damaged the building. The Fortaleza eventually lost its military value and became the residence of Puerto Rican governors, a role it still maintains today. The Fortaleza is the oldest governor mansion still used as such in the Western Hemisphere, with more than 150 governors having lived or stayed here. People love San Juan because of the Museum of Puerto Rican Art. The museum is one of the highlights in San Juan and is a prominent player in the Caribbean cultural scene. The building, which was opened in year 2000, was constructed around a 1920s hospital building. The older portion of the building displays the museum's permanent collection and is the first thing you'll see when you enter. The newer portion, the East Wing, is a five-story structure containing a multi-story atrium, a theater which holds up to 400 people, a sculpture garden, and a popular restaurant. There are also other rooms available for workshops and exhibitions. In total, the museum contains more than 130,000 feet of space used to display an excellent permanent collection and host temporary exhibitions. People love San Juan because of the San Jose Church. Dominican friars built the San Jose Church in 1532, making it one of the earliest examples of Spanish Gothic architecture in the Americas. Unlike the San Juan Cathedral, this church is small, with a modest facade, but the vaulted interior gives it an airy feel. For almost 300 years, the Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon was buried here until his body was moved to the San Juan Cathedral in 1913. The 18th century Puerto Rican artist Jose Campeche is also buried here. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love San Juan. If you've got a reason why you love San Juan, pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!